Hi, this sequence of videos is on the AQA Further Pure 4 June 2009 exam paper. While you're watching these videos, I'd like you to remember to try the questions out yourself first and make some notes as you watch the videos. And if you can, um, then pause the video and try, and try and finish off a question for yourself. I'm going to be going through the whole paper over the next um, series of videos. So, um, to get us started, question number one, it says um, that P is equal to this matrix here and Q is equal to this matrix here and the uh, number K is a constant. For part A, we want to determine the product matrix PQ uh, given its element in terms of K where appropriate. So, we want to find the product of these two matrices. Now I'm going to start off by writing down what I'm going to do. So um, I've got the matrix PQ is what we're trying to find and that is going to be the product of 1, 4, 2, negative 1, 2, 6 find the product of that with okay so these are the two matrices that we want to find the product of now remember when we're finding the product of two matrices we need to first of all decide what the size of our product is going to be so we need to find what the, s the size of the matrix PQ is going to be. Now to do that we um, need to know what the um, size of this matrix is. So this is a, because it's got two rows and three columns, this is a 2 by 3 matrix and because this has got three rows and two columns this is a 3 by 2 matrix and I'm just going to put these over here so we can see what, what happens. So I've got this 2 by 3 matrix and I've got this 3 by 2 matrix so that's the number of rows and number of columns and that's the number of rows and that's the number of columns now in order to multiply these two matrix matrices together then these have to match each other and they do so, so that bit we know is going to work the outside numbers that tells us what the size of PQ is going to be. So PQ is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. So just to make that a little bit clearer, so these two bits here have to match each other, which they do, and then these two bits here will tell us what the size of our product PQ is going to be, and it's going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, right, so let's get rid of that. <coughs> Get rid of that. Okay, so we can now go ahead and multiply these together. So that's going to be equal to and I'm gonna give myself plenty of room to do this. So um we need to do to find this element here, that's going to be the first row, first column of this matrix. That means I'm going to do row one. times by column 1. So that means I'm going to do 1 times k which is k and then I'm going to move this along and I'm going to do 4 times 2 which is 8 so I need to add that on so it's going to be plus 8 and then I'm going to do 2 times whoops, 2 times 3 which is going to give me 6 so that's going to be the first row first column of my product ok over here this is going to be row 1 column 2 so I'm going to again do row 1 and 
this time I'm going to multiply that by column 2 so again I'm going to do 1 times 1 which is 1 I'm then going to do 4 times minus 1 which is minus 4 and then I'm going to do 2 times 1 which is 2 OK, um, this here is now going to be row 2, column 1. So I'm going to do row 2 times by column 1. So that's going to give me negative 1 times by k, which is minus k. And then 2 times 2, which is going to be 4. And then 6 times 3, which is going to be 18. And finally, the last one's going to be row 2 times by column 2. So that's row 2. This is column 2. And negative 1 times by 1 is negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is 2. And plus 6. OK, so. <coughs> so that's what we've... Um, that's what we've got so far and I'm just going to simplify that and tidy that up and that should give me and I've got 14 plus k and then I've got negative 1 22 take away k and then I've got 3 Okay, and there you go. So that is going to be um, our answer for part A. Okay, part B. This is asking us to find the value of k for which PQ is singular. So, PQ is singular when the determinant of PQ is equal to zero. So we're looking for the value of k that is going to make this equals zero. So you might want to have a quick go at that now and pause the video. Okay so what we um, want to do then is when I multiply that by that and I take away the product of that and that I want that to be equal to zero so I've got 3 times 14 plus k and I take away negative 1 times by 22 take away k so, so if I take away the negative 1 that's going to make it a plus so I'm going to plus 1 times by and in order for this to be singular then this needs to be true and this needs to be equal to 0 ok so if I um, expand that out I've got That means um, 64 plus 2k is 0, so k is equal to negative 32. Okay, um, thanks for joining me.